All right. Uh, that, that's a really good win. Anytime you can beat Army and uh, defend that offense. And uh, just proud of our, our team's effort. I thought our execution level was real high. We had a great, great week of practice. The scout team did an awesome job. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to finish the non-conference schedule 4-0, that's a big deal. Uh, so credit Army. Those guys kept playing hard, as you know they would. That's what they're trained to do. And, uh, you know, I, I just thought, you know, after the last three weeks, we really played complimentary football. Uh, you know, the turnovers in the first half that we got were big. Those stopped two drives. Uh, you know, offensively, it, it wasn't as easy as a year ago, but it was still uh, efficient. And I think coming out in the second half and getting that drive to go up, uh, you know, four scores, 28 to zip was, was big. So we executed on offense. We forced turnovers. You know, I, I, first of all, I thought Brad and the whole defensive staff put together a great plan, but then you got to credit the players for embracing the plan and then executing it. And when you play army, if you don't embrace it, it's going to be a long day. And I thought we embraced it and, uh, you know, yeah, you'd, you'd love to win all games by 35 points. Um, you know, but it's, I just take it one week at a time. You know, I, I don't think there's any statement here, uh, you know, we've had three games that went down to the final seconds and, and minutes the last three weeks. It was nice to have a game that wasn't like that. And it was good to see us start fast, you know, whether it was uh, Clemson or, or Florida State. You know, we came out of the, the locker room and, and didn't start fast. And it was great to start fast. Uh, what, like, what, how would you say that you thought we defended them differently? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it was just, we were, I think a little more multiple and, and we blitzed a little more and, you know, at the end of the day, we, we got off of blocks better up front. I mean, I thought there was more, uh, you know, hits in the backfield and more surge from our defensive line than a year ago. And, uh, you know, we just tackled better. And, you know, some of those passes they had, they didn't, you know, they didn't hit them all. It seems like last year they hit every single one. And even at the end of the, the game last year, you know, they, they hit some jump balls on us in the corner of the end zone and they hit a rail route. And, you know, we weren't perfect, but we were much better in terms of being in the right place against some of their play action game. It bothered them, you know, it, I mean, that was one of those, you know, I, usually I come in here, right, and say, hey, great team win. And, uh, you know, I don't think they were buying that a year ago. You know, last year, the offensive guys were happy and the defensive guys were upset. It felt like an offensive win, and it was. And uh, tonight, this was a team win. You know, the, the defense did more than their part and uh, played really well. And, you know, you see guys getting better. I think Dylan Hazen is, is starting to become a really good linebacker, you know, and, and that's our program as we recruit guys and, you know, we'll redshirt them and develop them. And then whether it's Jamal Banks or Dylan Hazen, like these are all guys that start stepping up and, and then making plays when we need them to. No, oh, you know, I mean, I, I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm kicking myself a little bit going for that fourth and three at midfield. So other than being a little mad at the head coach, I think it was a pretty good effort. So, you know, that's, it's getting aggressive there. And, uh, 
you know, kind of went into the game thinking I'd have to manage it real aggressively if I had that one over, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if we should have, but uh, I'm sure I'll watch the film and find some things I'm not happy with. It's mental health awareness. Yeah, it's kind of a tradition with Army is that uh, whatever team loses, you go to their band first, and then you go to the winning team's band. And with Army, the the saw so the you know the the notes and the the song is the same. The lyrics are different, um, but it's uh, you know it's a it's a neat tradition. And you know there's so much history and tradition in football in our our academies, and. Uh, you know, as much as I, I don't enjoy preparing for this game, you know, there's certainly significance when you play the academies. I mean, I, I feel good about it, Josh, but, you know, this is uh, teams change week to week, you know, and I, I just have found in my entire career, right, whenever you start feeling good about yourself, this game serves you a pretty thick slice of humble pie. So that's why we just try to be one and oh. And I feel really good now that we were successful this week. Um, you know, there's a, a lot of good football teams ahead of us. It looked like BC was playing Clemson really tough. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for Jeff Halfley and the BC game is always a hard game. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll get ready for that one in about a week. But, you know, I mean, you know, we're five and one and, you know, a lot of our goals are still in place, really all of them. Uh, we need a little bit of help in the Atlantic, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of football left. I think so, yeah. I feel like we're, you know, our, our sports med staff and Jason George, our sports scientist, and Chad Berry and our strength staff, uh, we, we've been very uh, proactive in managing the health of our guys and I think it shows and so hopefully it can keep up. And I think we came out of this game relatively healthy. It's a lot better than the first couple of games this year, isn't it? So no, it's, you know, one penalty, no turnovers and everything we've always done here pro program wise is like, let's not beat ourselves. Uh, you know, let's not, prevent the, uh, you know, don't have the unforced errors. And we did that tonight. You know, we won the turnover battle two to nothing. Uh, one penalty for five yards and that was down in the red zone. And, uh, you know, we still got, I think a field goal out of that drive. Yeah, I just said don't don't hurdle people. <laughs> you know, yeah, but, yeah. That's yeah, like my when he did that, my heart sank, and everything he's been through this year to play, and then he's gonna hurdle people. So, you know, he's tough and he's a competitor, and in the heat of the moment, he can't help himself, and that's why he's such a good quarterback, and that's why he's such a great leader. Our teammate, his teammates, see him do that. And they know he's all in. And yeah, I mean, Quentin Cooley, the, the touchdown run was really big. And even getting Will Towns and Damon Claiborne in there. And, and Army defended us a little bit more conservatively than a year ago and kind of like gave us the run. And we took it and then they changed it up and they started bringing a little more edge pressure. They brought the corner, they brought the Sam. And when they do that, it, it opened up some of the passing game stuff. Yeah, he had a nice catch on the touchdown. The, uh, the catch he had down the sideline was really nice. And, uh, you know, we, we, we have really good receivers here and it just seems like every week it's a different guy that steps up. So uh, AT that's two weeks in a row that he had a good game and 
you know, Keyshawn uh, always makes play. I mean, all those guys, we got five, we got five really, really high level receivers and in, in keeping those guys healthy and involved. And we have great confidence in all of them. Yeah, it was. And it was also great to uh, get Wesley Grimes a touchdown. You know, I think those little nuggets keep guys going. And, uh, you know, at some point later in the year, we may really need them, you know, but to get off the bench and be able to play and, and then score your first touchdown. And he dropped the first pass and then he, he caught the next two and has a touchdown. So hopefully, you know, that builds confidence and keeps guys going and you keep getting better and we still have a lot of football left. All right, thank you. Uh, I hope I got the first down. Um, and then, yeah, Talladega Knights, you know, I'm flying. This isn't good. Um, but, yeah. Hope I got the first down. Yeah, no, it's huge. And um, I think they kind of, we kind of knew going into the game that it was going to be, um, you know, different than last year. And um, kind of like we saw last week where, you know, people are going to try and keep us in front. And, um, you know, they, they kind of mixed it, uh, you know, both ways. And I think we did a great job um, on both, you know, in both avenues. And, you know, also it really is just, the defense, you know, the defense, like, you know, getting us the ball, getting us the ball back and stopping them and keeping them out of those really long drives. Like that turnover to start the game off was huge. I mean, that, that changes, I that really honestly just changed the game. I think they got on score. It's going to be back and forth, back and forth. But um, obviously that's a huge, you know, stealing possessions from them is always, it's always a big one. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, Coach Lambert, you know, got them schemed up. It's, I mean, really start the scout team. I mean, they got team offense. It was the loudest I've ever heard and on the other side of the field. I mean, those guys were, you know, flying around, giving them a great look. And, I I mean, I could even hear them on the sideline. And then later half of the game, they're like, oh, yeah, we ran that, you know, like the op the reverse play they ran. Like, um, so, I mean, that's just, you know, it's very cool to be a part of because, you know, when I first got here, guys weren't bought in like that. And um, so I think it just starts, you know, from the bottom up and, um, to have guys invested like that and to uh, give looks like that to, um, you know, at this point in the season, you know, a lot of kids start checking out and, I mean, those guys are bought in. And so I think it helped the defense a lot. And then, you know, in the locker room, a lot of the guys, um, it's just cool to see, um, you know, them have success and against an offense as potent as they are. Um, great, great stuff. Did you play part of the season? Why um, I mean, I, you know, I think we have a really good football team and, um, you know, I think we have a lot of guys who can do a lot of really good things. And, um, I think we're still waiting to throw that perfect game, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy where we are. Uh, you know, we got a, a big, you know, obviously the rest of the season is going to be the ACC slate that, um, it always is. And, um, you know, every game is going to be come down Rob, probably to the, you know, last play of the game type type mentality. And so, um, I'm excited though. I mean, I think it's the way the bye week worked and, um, I think, you know, guys, you know, you're beat up, you're a little, you know, banged up here and there, but um, to kind of get that, you know, refresh and, and get back to it is, um, I'm excited, I would say. Oh, uh, I mean, it's huge. You know, their offense relies on being in a one score game the whole time. And so um, the defense did a really good job of uh, really just executing everything they had to do. And, uh, you know, on offense, right, we just, we knew we had to score and try and score in almost every possession. And, you know, we almost did that. So. I'm really happy about that. Uh, yeah, it's a little different, um, but I, I just more want to keep my alignment up. And so they're not sitting in their stance for too long. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it, you, you know, we've had enough games, I think, uh, that we've had to do that there, here and there. But it's, it's a different feel for sure. Anytime you score a touchdown, how much do you do if you go over the zone? 
how have those conversations evolved? What have those conversations like with the Bears and the uh, you know, coach is great. Um, you know, he's very even keel. He's, he's very, you know, it's what, what you see. Well, this is what I saw. Um, and then, you know, we roll from there. Never really any, you know, arguments or screaming matches or getting yelled at. Like, I don't know if I've ever been yelled at in my career. And probably plenty of times I could have, should have been. Um, so I, I think that that's, you know, the great thing as a, you know, quarterback is you got a lot of stuff going on. So, um, you know, to have somebody who's just very even keel and very just matter of fact. Um, but he's great, and um, you know, we're, we're, it's it's very routine at this point. You know, going into year five of what what I I kind of know what I'm going to get, and so that's I think that's a that's a a, a huge positive for me and uh, my mental. Are there any talking points? No, no, you're always that's the that's no matter what you go to the phone. That's a that's a a must. Uh, you know, it's always great to see, uh, you know, those guys get in there and, and get some experience and, um, you know, throw a touchdown. That's always, uh, you know, it's awesome for those guys. You know, they, they do all the same work that everybody else does. And so um, great for um, great for him and great for Wes to, you know, get a, get a catch and get a touchdown. Always cool to see. I mean, it's 7-Eleven, so I don't know if you've ever, if you've ever been to a 7-Eleven, but it's never closed. So you know what that means. He's always open. I am a Matt Cody. Thanks, Sam. Uh, it felt good, you know. You know, coach was staying on me the whole week, just being consistent, you know, going hard. So, you know, uh, and I stay committed to that. You know, I wanted to come out and have another ball a week. So. Yeah, um, you know, those are the type of games that I actually uh, uh, look at. You know, I study um, just to see where my eye went wrong, you know, mistakes and stuff like that. But I just know that it only makes me better. You know, uh, just going through the offense and stuff like that with Sam, um, you know, wherever the mistakes are and stuff like that, we correct them on the sideline. Um, but, you know, just as far as the, um, you know, mistakes and stuff on the field, getting past that, e and out of each week, um, you know, just moving past that, uh, that's what I really focus on. After Liberty was almost last game, mm -hmm. came down to the field, wire was um, it, it was good, you know, um, you know, just going out there off rip, you know, starting the game off uh, fast, uh, you know, that game, that open opportunities for everybody else on the field. So, um, you know, just getting those young guys in at the end of the game, you know, seeing what they could do, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to see. So, um, we like games like this, um, but uh, um, I don't know, it was just, it was fun, though, being out there. So. Oh, that was great. You know, we, we lived it up on the sideline. Uh, and I was really happy for him, you know, just going in there, um, you know, getting those reps and uh, be able to catch a touchdown. You know, that's a, it's a dream. I remember I was in his shoes uh, three years ago. So, uh, yeah, it was. It was. So, um, I, can, I can only imagine how you feel right now. So, I'm proud of him, too. You know, he worked really hard. So. Yeah. Uh, honestly, you know, you know, just I just tell myself to just go out there and play football and let everything handle it by itself. Um, it was, it was a point where I was thinking about you know just getting having better stats this year than I did last year, but I just look past that. You know, just spending time together with the team, um, going out there and winning. So. I'm sorry. How often do you feel open? Uh, I mean, I can't get mad at him. You know, he the QB, he the one back there with the ball, and I don't see what he sees. So, um, you know, just going to him on the sideline after a play, uh, talking about what he sees and stuff like that, uh, and then going back on the, in the next drive, you know, drives later, and he throws that ball finally. And, you know, just. Mm. Uh, as far as you know, just what, what do you think? Uh, 
Um, uh, really just hmm, kind of awkward. Got me there. Um, I would say just 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 keep being consistent. You know, just with being out there. Um, you know, just catching the ball, running routes and stuff like that. You know, I see. I know a lot of guys watch that. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, I try to really focus on that. Just being consistent each play, and uh, making the plays that I can. Um, just really getting the body, you know, back in, you know, just uh, injured guys, getting them healthy, getting them back in the groove, um, you know, just having everybody back and then going that six week stretch. Um, you know, uh, I know that I talked to, you know, some receivers, you know, making sure that they you know, get it squared away on the off, um, on the break, but, uh, you know, just getting those injured guys back, back and playing, that really helped us a lot. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 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 Oh, it was amazing. I mean, like just being out there playing with all my teammates and just being able to start playing with Sminda, Jace Jones, uh, Rondell, just being out there just felt just amazing. I mean, I hadn't touched the ball since I think freshman year of high school. So <laughs> as soon as I got that ball, I was like, oh, I, this is, this is, I got to go now. I got to run. So, I mean, I, I just chinned it and I, I kept, I just got, I just run. I didn't really, wasn't really looking. Uh, I mean, I think I was like two steps away from being able to crib it, but I mean, it is what it is. Oh, it's, I mean, it's astronomical. Uh, you have the scout team performed amazingly all this week. I think most of the credit goes to them because they took on the role that, I mean, that's Army's offense is no joke. And so, I mean, them taking that role just, I mean, leveled or like uh, rose or allowed us to play, execute really well out there. And I mean, uh, Coach Lambert's defensive scheme, I think also uh, helped us like being able to stemming, messing around with uh, the Army's like blocking schemes. I think that was also uh, crucial to our uh, success. Mm -hmm. Did that slow down to the front of the scouting offense? Most, yeah, most definitely. I think the like the tempo that we had through like through our, our scout teams, and also like <clears throat> just for, like, I guess our practice in general, like our special teams as well. Just like embracing the role and just in, like being in that film room, and just watching and just making sure that we have, like put ourselves in the best like position to play this game. Well, I mean, the last two games, what I mean, yeah, I guess. So. I mean, we both had, I would say we both had good like game plans like this year and last year. It's just, I think we were able to execute this year just so much like a lot better because I, I think we were more experienced maybe and something like that. <laughs> Uh, Brett, Brett Griffiths, uh, Mitch, uh, yeah, he's a uh, redshirting this year. And so they have him over there. He was, he did a really good job at, uh, all the Q, Q leads and the, the readings and that type of stuff. He did a really good job. Yeah. I mean, Obviously, it's the the speed's a lot different, but I mean, he was he was up there. He he had, he gave us an amazing look, and so you can see. I guess you can see the results uh, from today. I'm not no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm assuming the feeling today is really different than that feeling last year. Yeah, it's like 
definitely like a sense of like revival. And like last year I came off the field, I think in the fourth quarter with a concussion. So, I mean, I wasn't able to process everything after the field, but definitely in that locker room today, that's more, we, we felt like we had beaten army and actually like successfully executed a game plan. I don't think so. I mean, it could have been nice. It would would have been really nice, but I mean, we need to put, I think, I'm not too sure. I was I was getting checked up for uh, my eye. Uh, I've had something was wrong with my eye, like a migraine starting. So I mean, I don't think I don't think we were too disappointed with that. Yes. I would think so. Like a big thing about Army is they need to steal possessions. And so being us, we're able to, if we're able to steal possession, that puts them behind. That's they're off schedule. And so putting them off schedule, I think, made made it that much easier to execute and uh they were scrambling a little bit trying to trying to make plays and I think that also I mean that traditionally that's not Army's like offense and so I think uh that also helped quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I mean just taking on the role, just like accepting that the army is gonna be a hard, hard game to play and just accepting that role scout team accepting that role and just bashing heads every single day even though it wasn't some parts wasn't fun some sometimes would come off with a little bit of headache but i mean it's, it's the game of football and i think just that that uh that mentality of just accepting like oh this is gonna be hard like each week's gonna be hard uh just each week's a different season as coach clausen states i think that's like our defense mentality just taking one game at a time accepting the challenge and just putting the uh, put foot forward just to see uh, what Lambert has for us. Um, <clears throat> we kind of had a, we kind of knew the assignment um, going to the game, our eyes, and uh, we'll be focused on all week, had to come to play. Um, this game was different than a lot of other games. Um, it was about execution. Um, you know, whatever they want to line up in, we knew that their offense holds the ball all game. So we just had to realize that every single time I'm in the game, CT's in the game, Cooley's in the game. Just execute your job. Don't make it more difficult than what it needs to be. Um, play at a high level and um, raise the bar to the standard no matter who we're playing. So I I love our running backs' performances because, you know, it's not always looked at when things aren't going well, but when things do go well for you, how do you respond to that? So. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I watched those guys. Matt Coleman, I talk to all the time, uh, Kay Carney, um, Christian Bill, I watch him. And I saw how passionate they were, even when they weren't getting the ball. And there's, there's an area of my game that I'm trying to continue to get better at. I know we all have areas that needs growth. So I'm having that growth mindset and blocking and also running the football. So, you know, whenever there's a guy running at my face, I'm like, I'd rather be the hammer, not the nail. And I'm not going to let you run through my face. So sometimes I'm going to get got, but. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get there before I'm gonna get got. So <clears throat> oh yeah, most definitely. Um high school, you don't really that's not really <laughs> something you really do, but in college, you know, it's so important that you block because you got quarterbacks behind you that needs to get the ball off or you know, offensive line straining to hold these hold these big three hundred pound D linemen and you gotta do your job. So I think it's something, you know, you can make a highlight out of the blocking too, so. Um, 
Well, shoot, I didn't know I was going to get the call. I thought he was going to bring edge pressure off the uh, edge. And with Sam, let's let's go with the ball and just hand it to him. I'm like, yes. Okay, Sam. <laughs> I understand you. Ball's going to come here. And um, the end came up wide. And, you know, Sam, you know, he's a veteran quarterback. So he was able to tell me, okay, I'm going to give you the ball here. And um, the ball was going to fit. And they were going to plug fit. And I was going to get out the back. So it was a great opportunity. And I was just thankful for that, you know, getting that ball in that. And that play, so. I think that it is just a big impact in the game. Um, you know, when you start the ball on, you know, 20 yard line and you're trying to move the ball, you know, offense is about rhythm and getting that rhythm is so important. And when you have false starts and you have, you know, drop balls or even fumbles, turnovers, it, it can cause a little friction. So our offense, we're really trained to keep going and get teams on their heels. So when those things happen, it's really hard to move the ball. But we've been focusing on the details. Being intentional on the details is so important for the receivers, for the running backs, for the tight ends, for the quarterback. And you won't really have those mental errors. I mean, you might make some physical mistake. That's going to happen. We're all human. But – you know, those middle areas shouldn't be a thing that should be happening. Oh, those are my boys. Um, we all bond like, so if you see me, you're going to see them. And, you know, it's a bond. It's, we call it the grounds crew because, you know, we're gritty, you know, the dogs. And, you know, we might not get all the recognition sometimes for picking up a pass pro, but, we see that we see that when I'm in, you know, it's all claps and all high fives, and when somebody else is in, the same thing. Um, so when I saw Will Towns and Demon get in there, it was phenomenal. And then even Quentin Cooley, you know, um, he's been battling with his body for for long periods of time. But when Cooley's ready to go, he be going. So I'm so excited when he's out there. I feel like I'm out there. Yeah. Uh, actually, Coach Hunter came up with it, and it stuck with us. We got it. I think. Last year with um, Bill, and we stuck with it because you know it, it matches our names. And like I said, sometimes we get we'll get the pleasure of getting the ball, and sometimes we have to block a three take, block Brian Breezy, block these big dudes who, you know, who's coming to run out of our face. So. I feel great for him. Um, it's always about the mindset is how you respond. You know, can't really control what they did to us last year. But this year, they, you know, they took the challenge. They didn't run from it. They didn't run around it. But they, run, they ran right through it. And I was really proud of those guys to see, you know, third down, fourth down, Army. I was like, wow, this defense is – our defense is stepping up. So, you know, it definitely gave us energy because we knew that they are making stops. We got to put points on the board. Um, so, I'm thankful for everything that happened this, this game and continue to do have them do the same thing. Nah, ain't about, ain't about that at all. But uh, I had no idea what my yardage were. I still wanted the ball, but <laughs> the W is what matters. W is what matters. And, you know, that's just something I always keep my mind focused on is just stay mellow through the highs and the lows and, you know, everything work out. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, tonight we played a lot more aggressive, uh, a lot more attacking. Uh, and we called more blitzes this year, and we were kind of on the offense as opposed to trying to trying to be on our heels a little bit uh, last year. And I think uh, Coach Lambert and the whole defensive staff did a really good job with the game plan and allowing us to go out there and, and play fast and, and try to play physical against those guys. Oh, absolutely. 
absolutely. Um, I mean, they scored 50 something on us last year and then to come out here and hold them to 10 points at home, it's an unbelievable feeling. Those guys are hard to play against. They're physical, they're tough, but I feel like as a defense, we stood up to the challenge today and we, we kind of uh, showed, showed what we can do. And so I'm really proud of our guys and really excited for uh, the future. Uh, you know, it feels good. Um, all week, coaches have talked about uh, kind of what you just said about the way they want to control the game, and that's their game. And if we're going to beat them, we're going to need to create extra possessions. And I'm just glad. I feel like guys are punching at the ball all night. And uh, we had some opportunities to make some plays, and I'm, I'm glad we were able to to do that tonight. Talk about I think it just gave us confidence, um, allowed us to know that 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 we can go come out here and play our game and and play fast and play physical, and we're we're going to be all right. And I think that's kind of what we did the rest of the night. So. He did really good. He had a really good game. Um, I mean, for a first start, that was unbelievable. I don't think he uh, he didn't blink. He didn't flinch. He stood up there and he made some really big plays. And I'm I'm really I'm really proud of Dale, and I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, thanks, guys.